Welcome to Lamb School Noticings, coming to you from the Brian Lamb School of Communication in the College of Liberal Arts at Purdue University in West Lafayette, Indiana. I'm Mary Fran Matson, professor and interim head of the Lamb School and your host for Lamb School Noticings. This week, we have several items of interest from the public relations unit of our school. This semester, Professor Brian Smith's social media and PR class is working directly with two clients, Purdue Marketing and Media and Team Rubicon. For the project with Team Rubicon, a team of students here at Purdue is collaborating with a student team at the National University of Singapore to develop a social media campaign. Uh, and each semester that I offer this course, I usually use a client or two. Last semester, we had several clients from uh, the cities of Lafayette and West Lafayette uh, the government um, agencies in Lafayette and West Lafayette. Uh, but this semester we have something a little bit different. We're working with two uh, individual clients. One of them is Purdue Marketing and Media. Uh, the other client is Team Rubicon. I'm not sure many people uh, know exactly what Team Rubicon does, but they're a fantastic not-for-profit not organization. Uh, Team Rubicon works specifically in disaster relief, and they work with volunteers who are military veterans. And uh, they've got a fantastic story, amazing story. Uh, but what they do is they get these uh, veterans who come home from the war and they've got all these wonderful disaster relief uh, crisis skills and they, and they put them to work. They give uh, veterans new meaning, uh, the meaning that they may have lost from leaving, leaving their time in the service. Uh, in fact, Timur Rukhan I was introduced to through um, our own school, previous school director, Howard Seifer. Uh, Ford, his son, uh, worked with uh, Timur Rukhan for quite some time. Uh, and uh, so what we're doing with Team Rubicon, it's really interesting, is we have a specific arrangement with the National University of Singapore. Last December, uh, I was in Singapore with, uh, with Howard Seifer, with his son Ford, uh, and also Glenn Sparks on a communication without borders type uh, launch um, at the National University of Singapore. That's headed up by Mohan Dutta, who is also here at Purdue previously. And uh, through this uh, opportunity, we got to listen to some of the, the, uh, the arrangements of research in, in Singapore, and we talked about collaborating. Uh, one of the effects is, of this uh, collaboration is I'm working with a, a campaigns class, public relations campaigns class, um, with, uh, with a, a professor there. And we are collaborating with Team Rubicon uh, and with each other, obviously, to, to build a campaign. And Rubicon is a very large organization that it's... Uh, as you can imagine with uh, crisis and whatnot situations that go on, that they have to have presences all across the world. And they have a presence in, in Asia and Southeast Asia. And so what we're doing, we're dividing up the work where the students here uh, in, uh, in Indiana work on Team Rukhan's awareness, uh, specifically in getting more volunteers involved, more military veterans, um, but also getting fundraising, getting more donors to the, to the efforts. Uh, and they'll work through the social media channels, uh, work through strategy to help improve that. Uh, and they'll also be co coordinating with, team, uh, with, with the team over in, in National University of Singapore. Uh, and these students will be working specifically on Southeast Asia and the Asian area. Uh, and they, their class will also look at some of the, the key drivers of social media and print media use in, in Singapore and Southeast Asia. But here in, in the States, we'll focus primarily on social media use. Uh, now this obviously presents a challenge. Uh, the difference in time zones is 12 hours. So uh, having these students have a chance to actually talk to each other is very difficult. Uh, we are looking into planning uh, Skype sessions where they can, they can chat and figure out the right times for those. But for now, we're working through email. Uh, and that does present some, some difficulties as they try to communicate uh, strategy and whatnot. Right now, we're specifically working on the research section, looking at the ways people look at uh, social media, how they use it, engagement, uh, and specifically engagement with Team Rubicon. Be sure to share the outcome of these projects with us, Professor Smith. In PR alumni news, Mortarboard National College Senior Honor Society announced that Maureen Richmond is the recipient of the 2013 Emerging Leader Award. This award recognizes alumni who are within 20 years of their graduation, have demonstrated exceptional achievement in their careers, and are noted for outstanding community service. Ms. Richmond was initiated into the Barbara Cook chapter of Mortarboard at Purdue in 1996. She earned a degree in communication with an emphasis in public relations. Since graduation, Ms. Richmond has excelled in her industry, working in public relations for one of Indianapolis's largest insurers, serving as spokesperson for the nation's biggest seasonal theme park, and directing media relations for First Group America, North America's largest transportation company. 
Ms. Richmond recently accepted a position in corporate communications and social media for Honda North America. As a public relations specialist, Ms. Richmond has provided media relations direction, proactive strategy, and crisis response for her employers, working regularly with media outlets such as the New York Times, MSNBC, CNN, The Washington Post, and The Today Show. Committing to bettering the community, Ms. Richmond has leveraged her career success to promote service to others. As leader of First Students' partnership with the BullyProject.org, an international organization using the documentary Bully to promote bullying awareness, she oversaw the transportation of more than 100,000 students to view the film, coordinated a facilitator's guide, and educated 7,000 instructors to recognize bullying behavior. Mitch Richman was present at the White House screening of the film and was invited to discuss the topic with senior White House staffers. Additionally, she's been a longtime leader of the Public Relations Society of America. Congratulations on your achievements, Maureen, and thanks for being such an impressive moral model. Speaking of the Public Relations Society of America, Representatives Richard Spector and John Robinson were on campus last week to meet with our student members. Thanks for including us on your tour. In other alumni news, Ryan Greaves, a senior public relations specialist at global e-commerce provider Cleverbridge, wrote an article for PR Daily, which offers 10 tips for landing a prime PR position. Number eight is my favorite. It says, show your personality from your cover letter through your interview to distinguish yourself from others vying for the position. As Ryan states, PR is a business in which everything hinges on personality. We'll have more from Ryan via video in a future edition of Lamb School Noticings. In the meantime, check out his blog at ryangreavespin.ulitzer.com. In other alumni news, the book Bold Brand, authored by Josh Miles, a 1999 graduate of our school, was honored with second place by the Society for Marketing Professional Services at their National Marketing Communications Awards. Josh Josh also is the founder of the Indianapolis-based Miles Design, a firm that provides branding, strategy, and design for professional services firms. Josh says he wrote Bold Brand to try to help professional services firms improve the way they brand, communicate, and position themselves in the marketplace. For more information, visit Miles Design online at milesdesign.com. In news from our faculty, Professor Lorraine Kisselberg and colleagues were awarded a $25,000 seed grant from the College of Engineering. These funds support a larger National Science Foundation grant and are being used to study the development of ethical reasoning in the online context. The grant supports partnering with a company to professionally produce storytelling or narrative modules that include interactive capabilities to promote ethics education. The outcome will be shared during a workshop at a professional conference next summer. Congratulations on the grant and keep us posted on the project, Professor Kisselberg. An announcement from the Communication Graduate Students Association. This week's Friday Afternoon Club, also known as FAC, is at Buffalo Wild Wings. Be there to relax and network with your colleagues. Well, that brings to a close this edition of Lamb School Noticings. Remember to send your noticings for future editions to mmatson at purdue.edu. And keep in touch via Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and our YouTube channel. Oh, Erin Doss, our mo social media maven, tells me the Lamb School has 993 likes on Facebook. This week's challenge is to achieve more than 1,000 likes by next week's edition of Lamb School Noticings. Go to facebook.com forward slash Purdue BLSC and click like to help us meet the challenge. Talk with you next week and take special care.